Welcome to Hello English Teacher. Today let's look at the new types of MCQs from class 12 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. So let's look at the MCQs from all the three sections that is section A reading and then section B writing and then section C literature. So let's look at the first section with the comprehension passage. So read the passage given below. In a small town there lived a beautiful family of five members including an old man who was the head of the family and his only son, daughter-in-law and two grandchildren. The family had a lot of fun and enjoyed life to the fullest. As a family, they always had dinner together every day. However, as days passed by, the health of the old gradually weakened. His vision became very poor. He had his hands and legs started trembling. One day, while serving dinner, the old man whose legs and hands shivered and who couldn't see properly spilled the food on the table. With his trembling hands, he wasn't able to eat properly. He let the glass of milk fall on the tablecloth. His son and daughter-in-law were completely annoyed and he messed up the dinner. It was repeated for the next time as the old man couldn't help himself. His son was irritated and his wife said, I can't bear this anymore. He spoils our dinner every time. We should do something about it, he agreed. Soon they set up a new table and chair in the corner of the hall and made him sit there to eat food. The old man wasn't able to hold the glass or plate and he broke a few pieces of utensils. His son gave the old man a wooden bowl so it wouldn't break. While the rest of the family seemed to enjoy their meals, the old man was in tears as he had to eat his food alone. The old man would often recollect happy memories of family and could barely tolerate his current situation. Days passed and the old man died quietly. After his funeral, they were cleaning the house when his five-year-old grandson Vikram and his elder sister Zoya began to search for something. This was noticed by their father who asked his children, What are you searching for? Zoya replied, The wooden bowl in which grandpa ate food. Curiously he asked, But why? To which Soya thoughtfully replied, We want to preserve it in memory of Grandpa. The children found the bowl and keep it in a safe place. Then Vikram asked his father, Can you buy one more bowl like this? Surprised by the question, he asked, Why, son? To this, Zoya prompted, replied, promptly replied, See, we have only one bowl. When you and Mama get old, how will we feed you both in one bowl? So we want you to buy another one for mama. The elders realized their mistake, but it was a bit late in the day. So now let's look at the questions from this uh, comprehension. Which of the following statements is true in the context of the story? The old man's daughter-in-law took very good care of him till his last breath. Vikram and Zoya loved and respected the elderly. The old man had left huge property for his only son after his death. The old man was eating food in a wooden bowl. So the correct sentence here is D, which says the old man was eating food in a wooden bowl. So the next question, which of the following qualities describe the old man's daughter-in-law the best in the context of the story? Extremely selfish, annoying, meek. So here the answer is B, selfish. So now let's look at the next question. Uh, question number three. According to the story, the old man ate food alone in the corner because he didn't enjoy having food with his family anymore. He did not want the dinner table to make messy. His grandchildren would make a noise when he couldn't bear other than those given in the options. So the answer is B. He did not want the dinner table to be made messy. So next question. As mentioned in the story, Vikram requested his father to get Another wooden bowl because he wanted to replace old utensils with new ones. 
It was his grandfather's last wish and he wanted to fulfill it. He wanted it for giving food to his mother when she became old. He was fond of wooden vessels. So here the answer is C. He wanted it for giving food to his mother and father when they become old. So next question. Which of the following is most nearly the opposite in the meaning to the word preserve as used in the passage? So store, dry, discard, eradicate. So very close to the opposite is C. Discard. Next question. Which of the following correctly explains the phrase late in the day as used in the story? In the early afternoon, too old to be useful, too new to be used, too late to be of any use. So here the answer is D. Too late to be of any use. So next question. Which of the following can be an appropriate title for the story? Never hurt your grandfather, the ill grandfather, the wooden bowl, the wise parents. So here the answer is C, the wooden bowl. Eighth one, which of the following is the most nearly the same in the meaning to the word recollect as used in the story? So remember, remind, prompt, purchase. So here the answer is A, remember. The next is section B, writing, where we are going to be looking at a notice. While walking in a park, your neighborhood, you found a small plastic bag containing some documents and cash. Complete this notice to be put on the park notice board, asking the owner to identify and collect it from you. So, you are Amit or Amita. So, it is a notice writing and so we look at how the MCQs are going to be here. So, the notice so you can see the box, you can see the dashes here A, B, C and D. So the date is given and the content is like this. This is to inform all the readers that in the, it has in it, the plastic bag is red in color and is of medium size. It was found on September 1st around 6 p.m. near fountain in the park. The owner of the bag shall contact me through the number along with an identity proof. Thank you. Amit or Amita. So it is uh, a notice which is telling that something has been found. So let us look at the options and fill in the blanks. So here are the answers. So the word notice is given. So below that the heading will be found because it is talking about something that has been found. So this is to inform all the readers that. So the correct answer is bag has been found bag has been found in the neighborhood park and the 420 it has a dash in it okay so it has a few documents and some cash in it and so the others are complete sentences so we have filled in all the four blanks of this notice so now let's look at the next section literature so read the extract given below and answer the questions that follow. So you will have MCQs from extracts. So the first one, the presidents of the New York Central and the New York New Haven and Hartford Railroads will swear on a stack of timetables that there are only two. But I say there are three because I have been on the third level of the Grand Central Station. Yes, I have taken the obvious step. I talked to a psychiatrist friend of mine among others. I told him about the third level at Grand Central Station and he said it was a waking dream wish fulfillment. He said I was unhappy. That made my wife kind of mad. But he explained that he meant the modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and all the rest of it and that I just want to escape. So now let's look at the questions from this extract. What according to the narrator will the precedents wear on? The existence of the third level, there being a stock of timetables, the non-existence of a third level or there being a second level. So the answer is C, the non-existence of a third level. Next question, the phrase waking dream wish fulfillment means we do not wish for something to happen. We wake up suddenly from a dream. We see something as we wish to see it or our subconscious mind. So here the answer is C. We wish to see something as we wish to see it. We see something as we wish to see it. So let's look at the next question. Why was Charlie's wife kind of mad? To see her husband confused, to hear that her husband was not happy, 
as no one believed Charlie about the third level due to Charlie's insistence of there being a third level. So here the answer is B, to hear that her husband was not happy. Now fourth question, what does a man in the modern world want to escape? Anxiety, suspicion, jealousy or indifference? So here the answer is A, anxiety. Modern man wants to escape from anxiety. So now let's look at the next extract. Then I walked down another flight to the second level where the suburban trains leave from, ducked into an arched doorway heading for the subway and got lost. That's easy to do. I've been in and out of Grand Central hundred times but I'm always bumping into new doorways and stairs and corridors. Once I got into a tunnel about a mile long and came out in the lobby of the Roosevelt Hotel. Another time I came up with an office building on 46th Street, three blocks away. Sometimes I think Grand Central is growing like a tree, pushing out new corridors and staircases like roots. So now let's look at the questions from this extract. Where did Charlie get lost? On the third level, after heading for the subway, on the arched doorway, on the suburban train station. So the answer is B, after heading for the subway. Second one, Charlie's statement, that's easy to do means, it is easy to get lost in the third level, it is easy to reach the second level, it is easy to enter and exit Grand Central, it is easy to get lost in the Grand Central. So here the answer is D, it is easy to get lost in the Grand Central. So now let's look at the next question. The word bumping means the same as omitting, colliding, missing or skirting. So here the answer is B, colliding. So next question, what does Charlie compare the stations, why does Charlie compare the stations growth to a tree? It has many corridors and staircases because of its consistent extension. It is an underground station, it is very huge. So here the answer is B, because of its consistent extension. So let's look at the next extract and maybe because for so many people through the years Grand Central has been an exit, a way of escape, maybe that's how the tunnel I got into. But I never told my psychiatrist friend about that idea. The corridor I was in began angling left and slanting downward and I thought that was wrong but I kept on walking. All I could hear was the empty sound of my own footsteps and I didn't pass a soul. Then I heard that sort of hollow roar ahead that means open space and people talking. The tunnel turned sharp left. I went down a short flight of stairs and came out on the third level at Grand Central Station. For just a moment I thought I was back on the second level. But I saw the room was smaller, there were fewer ticket windows and train gates and the information booth in the center was wood and old looking. So now let's look at the questions from this extract. Why does the narrator refer to Grand Central as an exit? It is a medium to go to other places. It is a medium of escape. People enter it unknowingly. People enter it willingly. So here the answer is B because it is a medium of escape for many people. Next one, why did Charlie not tell his friend about this idea? He thought his friend might to look for this means to escape, his friend might tell Lisa about it, his friend would not have agreed to it, his friend might dissuade him. So the right answer is, his friend would not have agreed to it. So now let's look at the next question. How was the third level different from the second? The information booth was wooden, there were many train gates, the rooms were bigger, there were many ticket windows. So the answer is A, the information booth was wooden. Next one, what according to Charlie did the hollow roar signify? So there was an open space, not a soul was there, people were talking both 1 and 3. So here the answer is both 1 and 3. So let's look at the next extract. To make sure, I walked over to a newsboy and glanced at the stack of papers at his feet. It was the world and the world hasn't been published for years. The lead story said something about President Cleveland. I've found that front page since in the public library files 
and it was printed June 11, 1894. I turned toward the ticket windows knowing that here on the third level at Grand Central Station, I could buy tickets that would take Lisa and me anywhere in the United States we wanted to go. In the year 1894, and I wanted two tickets to Galesburg, Illinois. Have you ever been there? Isn't a wonder? It's a wonderful town still with big old frame houses, huge lawns and tremendous trees whose branches meet overhead and roof on streets. And in 1894, summer evenings were twice as long and people sat out on their lawns, the men smoking cigars and talking quietly, the women waving palm leaf fans with fireflies all around in a peaceful world. So here are the questions. What did the narrator want to make sure? He was not, not on the third level. He was not on the second level. He was on the third level. The date printer on the newspaper was correct. So here the answer is C. He was on the third level. So he wanted to make sure that he was on the third level. The word glanced means the same as looked down upon, glimpsed, gaped or stared. So here the answer is B, glimpsed. So let's look at the next questions. Why did Charlie want to go to Illinois? In 1894, he could go anywhere in the United States. It was easy to get there. His friend Sam was there. He could lead an idyllic life there. So here the answer is D. He could live an idyllic life there. So what kind of life would people of Illinois lead? Comfortable, relief, tranquil and wonder. So here the answer is C. Tranquil which means peaceful life. So I hope you like today's video. For more informative videos, do subscribe to Hello English Teacher. Like, share and give your valuable comments below. Thank you for watching.